This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are back out on a job that we did several years ago where the backyard was flooding. We caught this gutter and installed this channel drain. And so we sent it down to that drainage basin right there. So what we're doing today is we're doing a bunch more concrete and we're gonna put a new channel drain in. It's been working really, really well. This was probably my second or third drainage job ever, the one that we did previously. This is a friend of mine and I helped her in purchasing this house, giving her some, some advice and things like that before she bought it. And we did do some plumbing work, replaced all the drain pipes, we did some HVAC and replaced the water heater too for her. And so this is a friend of mine and finally she's ready to redo the driveway and so she knows that I do concrete work and I've been working with Harvey. and so. That's what we're working on today. We're over here and we're going to redo the driveway and make it a little bit bigger for her. And then we're also going to redo the drainage work. So let me show you a few clips from several years ago before we did the first drainage project. Some of the flooding and, and things that she had going on, which is why she first reached out to me to help her out with it. Take a look at these crazy clips. I don't know if I should leave tomorrow. This is a job where we put a channel drain in and we also brought in this asphalt to divert this water across here. It was running down the driveway. So I wanted to check that out and see how that was doing. This is an outfall that I like coming through. So this is a, one of our early drainage systems from a couple summers ago. So let's see how our pipe is doing. Look at all that water. And this homeowner has reported back that she hasn't had a lake in her backyard ever since we put the system in. So I always like coming out to that outfall because it's always gushing. I've got the beak attachment with me today and I'm gonna be using it to pull up this asphalt. And when we, what we figured out last time we were here is there's concrete underneath this asphalt. So we've got both to deal with when we put this channel drain in the first time we had we found concrete underneath here and so we're going to get all this up today hopefully while i'm getting started with the beak miguel is on the mini bobcat and he's getting started with pulling out this walkway area so take a look at the walkway along the house right there. You see how narrow it is. One of the things we're going to be doing here is we're going to be giving her a much, much wider walkway that, that goes all the way to the front steps and wraps around the front steps and connects to the driveway. And so we're also going to be running our channel drain, the length of this house here. So we're going to go all the way from the far edge of the garage all the way to the end here by the steps.
All right, Harvey's got the first load of concrete off to recycling. And this is going really well. Miguel's getting some time on the mini Bobcat, which he wanted to do. And I'm about to switch to the bucket, I guess. There's a lot of rubble in here. Okay, we're making pretty good progress here. And one of the things I'm trying to do is save my old channel drain. So I found the pipe. It looks like I broke the pipe, but I found the pipe that goes into that. So hopefully we can knock this concrete around it, off of it and save that channel drain. We've saved them before, so we'll just have to see how it does. But right now I'm just waiting for some dump trucks to get back here. See what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's more big one. It's so good only for when you do that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you can break it around the post. Okay. Because right now when I pull it, ver, it bends the post. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Akira. Akira. I don't. No milk on that pitch. Let it go. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's, let's level everything in four.
Okay, I wanted to show you really quickly. One of the things they tried to do with this asphalt is get this carport to stop flooding. So look at what's going on here. So this thing is barely, barely, barely breaking toward, if I can get out of the sunlight here, barely breaking towards the carport. So what we need to do here is we need to cut this old concrete and then get our channel drain set lower so that it slopes into the channel drain. So this is a very tricky house. We solved the problem 100% and I've followed up a few times here, but now they want some more space. So we're gonna be cutting a little bit more out here for concrete. So we're basically redoing our drainage portion here. I was just looking at the pipe that we installed three years ago and I wanted to see if there was any debris in here and look what's in here. Hopefully you guys can see this. That is a big fat black widow. See her in there? That's a big one. They like dark underground spaces. If I can get her to pop out of here. There she is. All right, let's see here. Look at that black widow. Man, that's a big one. Look at that. I'm trying to show you the hourglass on her on the underside of her abdomen. Well, that, let me see it right there. Yeah, that's a big one. Anyway. All this black residue is this bagged asphalt that we put in for our patch job. This stuff is absolute garbage. That's what a PVC pipe looks like after three years. I didn't see any debris in there. Look at that. That's why you use Schedule 40 PVC. Quality pipe keeps on flowing.
Okay, we have gotten a lot done today. So take a look. We got our form started over here. We got all of our concrete busted out. We got this widened and got started getting it dug out. Got some concrete chunk uh, cut out of there. We found our pipe over there, like right, like right there-ish. I'll show you that tomorrow, I guess. And so we'll be hopefully forming this up and doing our drainage work tomorrow. back out here it's the next day and things are moving along pretty good we got a load of sand rock on the way here Okay, it's always important to get the homeowner out here when you're forming it up. So they had sprayed a line across here and we followed the line, but then when they were out here seeing it, it this was this needs to go out a little bit further apparently. So we're going to I think we're going to cut it here and just kind of widen it right there. The other thing is she had originally said along the flower bed there and so we sprayed it and but that's way too wide, so we're going to we brought it in a little bit. So that's why it's always important to get your homeowner out here checking out what's going on to make sure they're happy because it's easy to fix now. Since we pulled up all the concrete sidewalk along the front of the house, we can now put our pipe along the front of the house and we don't have to put our drain at that angle like we had before. And so we're going to do a piece of channel drain across the front here parallel with the house. Because we're redoing the concrete here, we can really control how the concrete's going to lay out and we can get that going to our advantage. And so we're going to have a little approach at the, at the street there and so the, the water won't be running down the, the driveway like it did originally. We won't have to do that berm thing that I had to do before. And our channel drain is going to be sloping correctly away from the house and from the driveway into the channel drain. So everything is going to be good because we're now in control of where the concrete's going to be. Yeah, we could probably dig it out a little bit more. Yeah. 
it might be tempting to take this gutter water and send it right through the channel drain since the channel drain's already in place. But that area along the front is just so flat that I'm just worried about overwhelming the channel drain. And so we also have a large service area of driveway and concrete that we're going to be collecting into the channel drain. And so because of all that, I wanted to keep the gutter water separated in its own pipe. And that will essentially double the capacity that we can move because we have the four inch PVC pipe and we have a five inch channel drain. So that's why we're keeping them separated for more volume capacity. We are making pretty good progress. So Ramon and Miguel have got these form boards pretty much set up where they want them. Ronald and I have got our drainage pipe and our channel drain going and we're heading on down the way. Now that the drainage work is done and the pipes are in place, we need to bring up the grade so that we get our even four inches of concrete all around our work. And so Harvey just showed up with another load of sand rock that's about seven and a half tons in that old dump truck of his. And so we're getting that unloaded from the truck and then we'll start moving that around where we need it. I just talked about why I wanted to keep the gutter water and the channel drains separated and yet here I am lying them back in together and so let me talk about that for a second. Going across the front of the house it was super 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 flat and we were really having to mind our fall but once we got to the corner here and into our we found our existing drainage pipe that we put in about three years ago that pipe was pretty deep and so we had a ton of fall going from here to our existing pipe. And so that's why I felt okay going ahead and sending those pipes into a single pipe with that Y right there because we had a lot more fall to deal with. Say all that again. I said we got a full bubble here. We got a full bubble there, but I got about a. Don't uh, make me no sense. I got about a. I was just breaking right here. All right. I checked both of our levels, and they seem to be about the same. Okay. So, is it just an obstacle illusion? Or? So we're going pretty good along our channel drain. 
and then we're starting into a full bubble right there. Okay. So it'll get me right here. And then we're flying down here. All right, so we got a quarter there. Coming down about four feet. Yep, we're flying. Right here, we should have a fall again. All right. And then that's our, that's my pipe from three years ago. Yes, sir. Nice. Looks good. Thank you. All right, let's pick up some of this mess. We are finished for today. This is the end of day two, and we've got it all formed up. We've got all of our drainage work finished. We caught this gutter here, came around, and we caught this gutter, and we've got our channel drain all in place. Very similar to what we had before. And then what we ended up doing was finding our original pipe over here, and then Ronald just tied right into it. So there's the original pipe right there, and then this gutter here, we're upstream of that connection, so that connection is in here somewhere. I located it yesterday, I think it's right on the corner of that bed right there. But we're clear of that, so that's going to still function. And so we'll be back here tomorrow to pour some concrete. We are back out here this morning. It's about 7.30 and the concrete will be here about eight. So we're all ready. We got to get our tape on our channel drain. And I think that's it. We're ready to go. All right, the concrete just arrived. We got kind of a high slump here, so we just added a little bit of water. And he's getting it mixed up. All right, the concrete truck is finally where he can reach it with his chute. But look at what's happening over here. They're good. We bedded them really well.
párate. Ahora vete para acá. Aquí está la estátera. Okay. Para hacer mi crate. Y luego ya nos vamos otra vez. We had the grade pretty high right there at the street where the street meets our form so that the concrete truck wouldn't break the street apart pulling in. And so the concrete, the second concrete truck showed up kind of early and I had to get in here real quickly and get some of the sand rock out of here with the mini Bobcat. And the driver that day for the second truck was Brian and so he was helping us out a little bit to get things ready because we, we weren't ready at this point for our second truck, but it showed up anyway. The driveway before was lower than the street, so what was happening before I did my first drainage job was all the water was running down the street and then it was just flowing straight down the driveway. And you saw that in that one clip where the water just flowed right through the carport. And so what we're doing here is we're trying to make sure that we get this approach to this driveway much, much higher than the road so that the water running down the road will just continue on past the driveway instead of running down the driveway. And we won't need to do that berm thing, that speed bump thing that, that I did before. We're gonna put another joint right at this constriction point right here, and then one right at the top of that apron.
All right, the concrete is all finished. Brian got his truck all washed up, and he's out of here. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> it's for the video. Hey, I'm going to dance and I'll put nice top. Yeah, I like dance. Salsa, merengue. Merengue, salsa. Tiri, tiri, tiri. Looks good. We are finished with the pour. So we'll be back out here probably on Monday, I think, to do our finish grading and get all that, the forms and everything, everything completely finished up, pulled down a little bit of seed and straw, and we should be in really good shape. So the homeowner's really, really thrilled with how it turned out. And so am I. The guys really busted their butt today. So there it is. We are back out here. This is day number four. So the concrete set up over the weekend. We started on Wednesday, it's now Monday. And we're here to do our finish grading, pull our duct tape off the channel drain, get all of our forms pulled off, and get everything seeded and strawed. So get everything cleaned up and looking really, really good. So that's what we're working on today. Yeah, me too. But look, look at what I told you. What? You see how I both took the levels and everything. Yeah. Go. Nice.
Like we do with all of our channel drain installs, we take this last segment out and check the outlet to make sure no concrete residue got in there. So that's what we're working on right now. Right in there. A lot of times what will happen is concrete residue will go in there and fill that up. And so we have to knock it out of there. But luckily on this install, it didn't do that. But we always check. It's good. Yep. All right. You like it? Yep. Put it back. Let's get this little bit of stuff out of here. All right, we just got our seed out and so everything's looking real good. Now we're gonna get a little bit of straw on top of this thing and we'll be finished. So looking really really good We just got this section of railing cut out of here. So now you can enter through here or through there. And we left that little curve. That's like a custom curve right there. And so I talked to the homeowner, we decided to leave it. It looks kind of cool. Plus it, it is a handrail there. So we are finished with this job. So we've got our channel drain in place. It looks really good. Everything is sloping the right way. And what the customer was looking for was some more parking in here. So now they've got a spot over here to park. They've got some small cars. That was plenty for them. And we blew it out even a little bit further than they wanted just to get nice, nice space for them. So yeah, everything's looking really good. So I can't wait to get back out here during the rain and check it out. I've checked on this job many times and it's always been working really well. So we're getting loaded up here and we'll be out of here shortly. I'm back out here, it's been about maybe a couple of months and I wanted to check on this driveway. And so the first thing that's going on here is the water from the street is no longer going down the driveway like it was before. Now we fixed that with our first drainage solution, but we got the concrete going right here. So I wanted to check on our channel drain and take a look at that dry line, of course. I'm always talking about the dry line and you can't fake that. So that looks really, really good. Look at all this water going into this channel drain. So that looks really good as well. Oh, and look at that. The gutters are overflowing, so I need to tell the homeowner about that. Those gutters are overflowing pretty bad. So let's see if we can find the outfall that we use. And if you remember, this was one of the very first drainage systems I put in. It was like three and a half years ago. And we went in through this right here so let's see if we can see it so that's all water that was a problem before it was flooding underneath the carport and like going right straight through the carport into the backyard and the backyard was like a, a pond back there. I'll see if I can find some pictures from when that happened. That was several years ago. But we, uh, all the grass is coming back in. We did all our finish grading. Looks like the homeowner did some landscape bed across there. But yeah, this is looking really good and it's working really good. 
there'd be even more water coming out of there if that gutter wasn't clogged up. This was an interesting job in that we solved the problem the first time and that was way back in the summer of 2019 when I started my company and she was like one of the maybe the second or third customer I ever had and we had done some work over there at her place. Corey and I replaced the drain pipe because she had cast iron. We put in a new water heater and did some other stuff over there and so she just happened to message me on Facebook one day and said do you know what I can do about this drainage stuff in the flooding carport? And I was like, I just started a drainage company. And so we went out there and, and did that first drainage solution. And that worked completely fine for several years. And I'll put the link to that video in the description. And keep in mind that you all have helped me get my videos way better. And so if you go back and look at one of those early videos, just proceed with caution, okay? But anyway, speaking of that, her dad saw the video and her dad has been one of my biggest YouTube fans and I just went and looked it up and he was my second subscriber ever on June 19th, 2019. So I've got to give a big shout out to Rick for being one of my biggest YouTube fans. So thanks again, Rick. And so after we got everything done here, everything's been working really well. They really wanted that, that, that wider walkway along the front of the house and just a wider area for parking. And so what they have been doing is parking one car in the garage and then one car on the driveway, but you can't really get the cars out that way. So now they've got two spaces, both cars can get out. We redid all the drainage work, so everything is still good to go. And that has been working for a few months now. And so we had a bunch of rain, a bunch of really heavy rain in December and ha haven't had any problems over there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, have enjoyed it or if you have found value in it, Make sure you like and subscribe and you know what to do. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you again for watching this video where we redid the channel drain and the driveway for my friend. And if you'd like to become a patron or buy me a coffee, the links are in the description below. So you can check those out. Thanks again for watching. Later.